All right, hey guys, what's up? This is Kula here. So how is it going, guys? How is it going? So we finally got that new expansion reveal, and it's going to be the Steel Rebellion. So if you guys haven't checked out the new trailer yet, we're going to check it out right now. So let's go. Let's see this trailer. I'm pretty excited about it. I haven't checked it out yet, so we're going to be checking it out together right now. So you're going to be seeing my reactions. Okay. It's going to be a lot... Okay, okay, I like this. It's gonna be a little bit futuristic. That guy uh, looks like a Portacraft uh, legendary. Oh snap, guys. We got some robots. We got robots with magic. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Who's that? Is that Alice? Okay, we got some robots. But we possess minds of our own. Your programming shall hold us no Who's longer. that? Is that As John? I think that might be John. Holy shit, she is ascending. Away. Okay, she's just like, choice. she's out. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, no. She's going against these robots. So are these robots the, uh, the protagonist, I guess? Like, we'll, we'll, we'll see, I guess. I'm not really sure. That looks like a fucking villain, for, for sure. He looks like a last boss. Huh, I guess he's bringing in all these robots maybe, but we've got this new expansion to Steel Rebellion. Can I just say something, please? Okay, we're going to be just stopping it right here. But, I called this in the previous videos that I made, maybe like three or four videos back, but... I remember saying um, something about the robot theme, the new expansion is going to be about robot theme. Uh, the title is going to be, but I think it's going to be about like futuristic robots and such. We'll see. But anywho, that is it. Damn, it's like right on, like bullseye, right in the middle. <laughs> oh god, Jesus. I guess um, I don't know. Like, what's going to happen with Portocraft? Is uh, the Portocraft going to be getting more robots than than everyone? I wonder. I wonder if everyone's gonna get robots too. <laughs> but what the hell? Robots, guys. Robots. We're getting robots this time with magic. Mm hmm. So. Robot theme? Steel? Rebellion? Steampunk stuff? Yes? I, I like that. Is it gonna be kinda like Horizon Zero Dawn, I guess? Like. That's gonna be really interesting, I think. Wow. Okay. So we got Alter Sphere, which was like alternate, uh universe with like characters and such right so like Monica she was a really like really strict uh general but she be she became a lovely heart Monica like an idol and this expansion we're gonna be getting the Steel Rebellion and I think Portal Craft is gonna be getting a huge ass buff or they're gonna be getting a lot of like crazy theme they're probably gonna be getting the robot theme because cause they got the uh the strike form golems and such but if we just check it out right now, let's see here. We're going to be losing a lot of cards for Portacraft. Tons of cards. So let's just go to Portacraft for a second. And, um, right, the Chrono Genesis is going to be rotating out. So the Axelarium is rotating out. The Millpotent Entity is rotating out. Hamelin is rotating out. Wow, Meta Production is rotating out. Like these, all these cards, almost 80% of these cards in this first row is necessary. Like it's mandatory and like these cards, uh, it's a must at the moment. But what's going to happen? So let's see the second page right here. Okay, Flower Doll was really strong as well. I really like that card. Icarus was really strong too. I liked the Iron Staff mechanic in the beginning, but I think it kind of fell off. Cat Cannoneer was awesome as well. Substitution is gone. God. Yeah. Substitution is gone. Puppet Room is gone. Oh my god. Morden the Manipulator. It was a fun card, but he's gone. hakarabi has gone. Spinaria. She's gone as well. Really? And we got the Sephira, Deuce Ex Makina. Oh my god, God Bolic Golem, and I did some memes with this card. 
we're losing a lot of cards for the next expansion for Portocraft, and I think they're going to be getting the most out of the uh, the robot theme, I guess. That's going to be the new theme for Portocraft for sure. So that's going to be quite an interesting uh, meta, I guess. What's going to happen? I don't know. Like, hopefully they kind of like balance out Cocutus, maybe, or maybe like. Well, he's he's an okay card if you play um, kind of aggro, but if you play control, you know, it's just like once he puts out the cookie, no, you know what? No, no, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna bitch about it today. No, <laughs> okay. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to go check out the Legacy GP Cup, the uh, the decks that's gonna be coming out. So if you guys haven't checked it out yet, we're gonna be getting this new kind of um, expansion. Sorry, new kind of Grand Prix. And where is it here? Um, okay, this one right here. So this is the the Legacy Dex Cup that we're going to be getting on March 15. Um, it's going to be, what is it? You can choose one of the followings from 13 decks that you can play. So the first deck we're, we're going to be getting is the PTP Force Craft. And all these cards are um, all back to the original state. So you know how Homecoming and like Harvest uh, Festivals and such Homecoming was, uh, it's 7 cost at the moment, but back in the day, it used to be 5. So they're bringing back all these legacy OP decks uh, back. So we're, we're getting the PTP, we're getting the OTK Forest Craft, we're going to get the Fortune Hunter Fina and the Goblin Mage legacies of those. And we got the Aggro Swordcraft as well. Oh my god, the Council of Card Knights. That card is 5 cost. And we got the Ephemera as well. That's going to be the four costs. That's that's a strong deck for sure. D Shift Runecraft. Okay, so that hasn't really changed as much, but the D Shift is at 18, so it's going to be a little bit faster, I guess. Yeah, we got the Magic Owl for sure, and we got the Daria Runecraft. Oh my God, this I remember this is like one of the most high rolliest decks for sure. So, this is going to be a pretty interesting deck, I think. Daria Runecraft is going to be really strong, I think. If played right. Like, if you get everything right, high roll, I think Daria Runecraft would be pretty strong. And we got the Ramp Dragoncraft as well. We got the Rin. Oh my god. The two cost Wind Reader Zell. And we got the Grim Near. I wonder if the Grim Near is going to be um, the. Le oh my god. If that Grim Near is that legacy Grim Near that does. Four damage to all the board, including the uh, the leader as well. That's gonna be really strong. We got lightning blast. Oh my god, oh my god, legacy lightning blast, <laughs> and legacy Ouroboros. legacy Bahamut. Okay, so ramp dragon is gonna be really strong. I think. Pretty excited about this one. I might play this. It's it's kind of interesting how he on, uh, this deck only has one Dragoon Scyther because that was a three of, in my opinion, that was really strong, but we got the Sahakwil and the Israfil combos and such. So, mm, Ramp Dragoncraft is gonna be really strong. Okay, so we got the PDK Dragoncraft as well. So the Legacy Staircase of Paradise was one cost. Yep. The Legacy PDK was a 3 cost, that was really strong, I remember. And we got the Bathamut as well, so 3 Legacy cards in the PDK. I don't think it'll be that strong, but yeah, I don't know, yeah, I don't I, I don't see this being that strong in this uh, GP at least. It's a really strong deck, don't get me wrong. Really, really strong deck, but at the moment, Ramp Dragoncraft is a little bit higher than PDK in my opinion. So we got the mid-range swordcraft as well. So three of the legacy cards are coming back. The Shadow Reaper for two cost. And the Little Soul Squasher for two cost. What? Right, it's going to be a 2-2 two -two stat. Um, right now it's a 2-1, I think it was. And we got the three cost Prince Catacomb. So that card right here is the most problem card, I think. So mid-range swordcraft might be a really strong deck with the Demon Lord Ektar, obviously, right? But three car, the three cost Prince Kataku was a real uh, problem back in the day. So Prince Kataku is going to be a threat for sure in the mid range Shadowcraft 
this is going to be a really strong deck as well. It's going to be an early aggro, and then they still have mid range as well. So it might, like, yeah, you could be done by turn 7 8, I guess. Because Shadow Reaper was that strong of a card with Prince Catacomb. So we got the mid range Shadowcraft, and we got. So we got the mid range Shadowcraft. So we're getting the neutral bloodcraft. Jesus, did you guys see how many legacy cards they're getting back in the neutral bloodcraft? They went all out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven legacy cards. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Spawn at the Abyss. Alice Wonderland. Legacy Goblin Leader? Legacy Tove? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This this doesn't need any explanation. This one is OP AF, guys. If you guys want to win, just go this one. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So we got the Pain Bloodcraft as well. <laughs> <laughs> Pain Bloodcraft. <laughs> like after we see the neutral Bloodcraft, Pain, Pain Bloodcraft is kind of it's kind of cute. Dark Beast Bat, you're kind of cute, man, comparing to a uh, Spawn of the Base. Holy Jesus! Okay, this one does not need any uh, explanation as well. We play this uh, deck so many times in rotation, so you guys know what, what kind of deck it is. So we got the Tenko Haven Craft as well. This hasn't changed as much. Tenko's Shrine is a 4 cost. Sealed Tomb was really strong. It's a 0 cost. Legacy. But this is not that new. This is pretty recent, I say. Like 3 or 4 months. I guess Tenko's Shrine got nerfed quite a while ago. But it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty new deck still. So that doesn't need explanation. But we got the neutral Havencraft that was really strong back in the day as well. So we got that Alice Wonderland in this deck. We got the Lion of the Golden City in this deck as well. Three costs, really OP, Goblin Leader, and yeah, the Legacy Princess Snow White. So what was it again? Was it a 2-2? Two -two, I guess the Legacy and then it was still a 2-2 two -two or something. I don't really remember what it was, but I remember it being really damn annoying for sure. So we got that neutral Havencraft, and we got the Puppet Craft, obviously, because that's pretty much the only deck that they got for Porter Craft right now. So we got the four cost Nicola. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was strong. It was strong, but guys, comparing comparing to like Spawn of the Abyss, this is nothing. Nicola, you are a baby compared to her, him, or her. I don't know. I don't know what the Abyss is. But we got the Vengeful Puppeteer Noah as well for the 9 cost. That was really strong. So we do have the Puppet Craft, but you pretty much have to get to 9, the turn 9, for Puppet Craft to like pretty much do the OTK and such, right? So I don't know. Like, oh my god. If that Baphomet is the legacy Baphomet, this is going to be a problem, guys. Oh Jesus, I I'm scared and at the same time I'm a little bit excited about this GP Cup for sure. So that is the GP Legacy Cup that we're going to be getting today, I think. Maybe at midnight or so, I guess. Oh God, what are you going to do? So if you guys have any like, you know, strategies like that 
you know information that you guys want to share and stuff right leave me a comment it's gonna be teamwork guys we get we get all same decks so let's work it out guys anywho hopefully you guys have a great great day and peace out and good luck